All right, so we're gonna do another race with the, these uh, two different chicken pluckers. Go. Today is chicken processing day for the second batch of meat birds that we're doing this year. Typically in the morning, we gotta get up super early to feed all the animals, make sure they have water, say good morning to the chickens. Good morning, chickens. Penelope let the chickens out early. Their door's not even open yet. Penelope's feeding the other egg layers. Ready, good morning. Bernice, good morning, Bernice. Where's Fuzzy at? Fuzzy. Your hair, Fuzzy. Your hair. Usually the night before butcher day, we, we give all the animals extra water. So that way I don't have to do it, or we don't have to do it in the morning because we're starting so early. That just helps us out. Hey turkeys. Goose. Good job, goose. Turkeys are so I've been leaving the turkeys out guys I've been leaving them out I haven't been putting them up back up in their coop I just laid them out um, their coops up for shade they still have plenty of feed and they have water I already gave the beefy boys extra water so I don't have to fill up their water this morning we're also hosting a workshop today and tomorrow so we have people coming that's why I like to get it done early. We still have to heat up the scalder, but everything else should be ready to go. Good morning, pigs. Good morning. Some extra water to feed you this morning. You gotta trick them. Let's go this way and this way. There we go. Here you go, Vira. This batch right here is gonna be for tomorrow's workshop. Even though today is butcher day, I don't show anything too graphic here, guys. I, I do not show it. But if you do wanna see graphic, we do offer this class an online version, so that way you can see a really detailed plan, set up, the whole process, really detailed, I'll leave that link down below if you're looking for an online version. I'm not gonna feed these guys this morning. Hey Goose, hey Goose, good job. Um, they have feed, they have feed in there. This is their last feeding until we butcher them tomorrow because we restrict their feed, that's important. Restricting feed 24 hours before you put them in your freezer. Or we do offer these hands-on workshops throughout the year. And these guys are, these guys are the ones that we're gonna butcher today. I'm gonna move their coop up a little bit. I just slice right through. I am not sawing through bone. We are not cutting the bone. A lot of times these um, Cornish cross their bones are brittle. That's just the type of bird that they are. Um, so I'm just slicing through and then you're gonna get through some little cartilage a little bit. Um, but if you How's it going here, Penelope? <laughs> Good. First chicken? First chicken. Awesome. I know, right? How'd that go? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was good. All right, so what are you guys' names? Where are you from? Jessica, we're from South Carolina. And you guys came from California too, right? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we're noobs. Like, why, why do you guys want to learn how to do this? So we can eat. <laughs> I feel like it's a good uh, skill to have. Yeah. And um, yeah. we've been watching you guys for a while, and I feel like yeah. to give back to you guys and also gain some knowledge and skill. Nice. Is yeah, I appreciate a good it. Thing, you know what I mean? For sure. Yeah, we've watched you guys a lot. So. Yeah, cool deal. I'm glad yeah. you guys are here. Yeah, we need the knowledge for sure. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right Almost. There. All right, that's a big one. The last one was a big one too. All right, first chicken today, Penelope. All right. Good job. Oh. 
put them in this vinegar bath, and then from here, they rest in here. I'm keeping the liver, the hearts, the necks, the feet. We're gonna keep some gizzards this time. As many times as we butcher chickens, we've never ate the gizzard. It's amazing. We've, we know how to cut them up and clean them, but we don't ever actually ate one. Hey, I'm Barbie. I'm from Candler, North Carolina. And what, what brings you here today? I wanted to learn to process my own chickens because I think it's an important skill. And um, I do a lot of hunting, duck hunting, bird hunting, so I wanted to be able to clean my own meat and wow, nice. put that in the freezer and not waste anything. We have an easy plucker and we have a plucker from hatchingtime.com. This one, I think because it's all plastic, it does clean very well. The feathers seem to just kind of slide off and then come out all here. I mean, that's all the feathers. And then on the metal one, it does seem a little bit, um, you know, sticky. Like the feathers kind of stick to the, all the metal. All right, so we're gonna do another race with the, these uh, two different chicken pluckers. The key is the scald. If the scald is not right, then the pluckers don't really work as well. So we need to scald this chicken pretty good and then we got that one over there. Randy's 0 for 2 so far. <laughs> Hopefully this one. You need to get scald, Randy, that's why. I need to get scald? Yeah. <laughs> Go. A lot of back feathers on this yeah, one. Yeah, a lot of back feathers. Yeah. I would I would put them in there a little bit longer. Oh, Randy's still plucking over there. That looks pretty good. It has some feathers still. Having pin feathers is pretty common on the pluckers. You know, they're they're not perfect, but it does get most of the feathers off. And so you might have to like just get some of these off real quick. I think Randy got me today. Randy won. <laughs> All right, Randy. Finally. <laughs> Every time we teach one of these workshops, it's usually Mostly everybody in the group has never processed a chicken. So every single time I'm stoked to see new people who are wanting to know how to do this. Now that all the birds are in the coolers, they're resting, we had some little quick break, some snacks, and then now we're doing quality control. Then I'm gonna move him over to this table where he can dry. The fan is on him. And then after quality control, we bag up the chickens and put them in the cooler. Yeah, that looks good. It's like magic. Yeah, now I see what you mean. <laughs> It's 20 chickens in here. Hearts, liver, feet. It's 36 degrees in the cool room. That took about four hours. 20 chickens also teaching a class. We have not cleaned up because we have day two of chicken workshops going on tomorrow. Now it's dinner time. We have Lorraine's parents here with us. Penelope, can you guys have chicken after chicken butchering day? On the same day? <laughs> Usually the answer is no. We, have, we had a rule that we don't eat chicken on chicken butchering day. But I feel like we've had we've had so many chicken butchering days where we're just past that. <laughs> we have chicken, roasted chicken, and then some zucchini, and a salad. 